These photos show just a few examples of the clown taggers vandalism in West Allis and Milwaukee since June. Whoever it is has defaced bridges, overpasses and handrails with the word clown time and time again. Have you figured out the meaning behind this? Um, I, I, I guess I wouldn't speculate on what the meaning is. It may be something as uh, um you know, benign as the individual uh, goes by that nickname. It may be some sort of group that the person associates with. The clown tagger wrote clown three times on Milwaukee's Jackson Park Pavilion this summer and has struck along the Hank Aaron Trail and the 76th Street Corridor. Police say it's costly to repair the damage, so now they're asking for the public's help. To see if they may recognize the script and the, uh, the writing of the clown that we've shown on our Facebook page. And police believe it's the work of one person. Typically when an individual does graffiti in this manner, they not only do it on, um, you know, with spray paint and markers you know, out in public, but they may actually use it on their notebooks or in more of a private setting. Police don't believe it's connected to a group. We don't believe it would be associated with any sort of uh, you know, criminal street gang. There isn't a corresponding increase in crime. Terry, we saw those pictures there. Did you see any of that graffiti in person today? None that we've found, Adrian, other than you can see they've painted over this. Police say they try to remove it right away because graffiti breeds more graffiti. Adrian? Okay, makes sense, Terry. Thank you.